So today I'm gonna announce one of my projects that I've been working on for the last like, I wanna say like year and a half now, almost two years. Now I've actually introduced this product in some of my tutorials, but today I'm going to announce it. Y'all ready? Here it is, ta-da! Oh no, wait, this is not it. Next page. <laughs> oh, there's ta-da, here it is. So I've actually been working on my own WordPress theme and we've been working on this WordPress theme for about, I would say a solid year and a half. We've had a lot of hiccups and bugs and glitches, but I think right now it's in a stable point so anyone can use our new WordPress theme. Now, there's a lot of things that I wanna cover that makes this stand out versus other typical WordPress themes that you've heard about. Now, the first thing I wanna do is just show you that you can download this theme in the backend of your WordPress website. So it is available right now in the WordPress repo. If you go to your dashboard section and go to appearance and click on themes, you can activate this on your websites. So here is the theme, it is called Solace, but uh, you know, if you want to see it like actually in the repository, you'll go over here under search themes and type in Solace and voila, here it is, the Solace WordPress theme. Now, we've actually included many features in this WordPress theme, and it's currently still in development. I would say as of right now, it's in beta, but if you want like a basic WordPress website, like it'll do just fine, right? Now, let me walk you through the WordPress theme and just show you around and just give you a general idea about the theme. Here we go, we'll go ahead and install the starter templates. Now, the reason why everyone has this plugin is because there's a workaround around the WordPress rules or something like that. I don't know, but that's just how it is, right? And here is the Solace dashboard. As you can tell, it looks really good, right? We have a really nice looking dashboard. We have some options here. You can access the starter templates, customize the WordPress theme and a lot more. Now, uh, let me walk you through the template kits really quick. So right here, I'll, uh, you know, we'll go through the import process and here's me saying, hey everybody, how are you? And on the right side, there's just some upsells and stuff like that. So I'll click on the start now button. And once you do that, it'll take you to all of our starter templates. And as you can tell, we have more than 100 kits to choose from and they look good. Now, one thing also is these are not just like four page kits or five page. Some of these template kits are like 12 pages, dude. All right, they're 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 pretty big. So we really wanted to like, you know, step it up and not just be so damn generic, right? Also on the right side, you can uh, choose between different categories and also check out recommended and so on and so forth, right? So you'll just find a kit that works for you, right? Uh, in this case, I'll just use the Pixel Pro. I do like this one. So I'll just select the uh, Pixel Pro templates. And then here we have an iframe embedded in the WordPress theme. So before you actually import the actual kit, you can actually navigate the website. So here you can actually take a look at it, right? Take a look at all of the elements. And then also you can explore the other pages and you don't even have to like leave. You can do everything from right here. This is similar to what we did on my website when you look at our pro template kits. And you can also go ahead and select a, um, a color palette, right? You can also change the actual, uh, you know, change the fonts. And then if you wanna import this, all you gotta do is just hit these two check boxes and click on continue. Now there is one thing that I do wanna say well, first off, here you can choose to sign up for our newsletter or you can skip. If you wanna skip, you'll click on skip this step. If you wanna be reminded later and support us, you can click on no thanks, I'll sign up later. Now, there is one small issue that we've had with this kit and some users. Sometimes the import process fails. This is typically due to like really, really bad hosting specs. Um, on the comments of my videos, I have seen users say like, oh, Daryl, I tried it and uh, I got a failed import, this theme sucks. But I'm like, if you were to use standard hosting, it works just fine. But if you do run into any errors, I really would like all of you watching this video to report them on my website or even go to the um, go to the WordPress repo over here, uh, over here, and just like maybe go and like just say, hey, something's not working, and we will fix it. We're constantly looking for bugs, and just remember, this isn't beta version. So if you do come across bugs or problems or anything wrong with the WordPress theme, just let us know, and we can make a quick fix. Now, uh, once this is done, I'll walk you through the actual website. All right, and after the import is complete, this process took me about three minutes to complete. You'll click on check websites and then fingers crossed and voila, we now have that beautiful kit imported on our websites. Now there is some common errors that we're fixing. Sometimes you'll see that there is duplicate pages on the menu. That does happen sometimes during the import process. Um, also, if you get to like a page where it just says like home and there's nothing there, you just need to set the static page to the home page and you'll be good. 
But uh, besides that, the actual designs are there. The import process works just fine. And the website looks great, right? I mean, this website looks fantastic. And it's also using the Flexbox with Elementor. So if you decide to turn on the page builder, you'll see that all of these sections are using the Flexbox. And uh, you know, you can always go ahead and adjust it. Now, I'll be honest, on some of my kits, my designers, they actually use a Flexbox in some awkward ways. So if you do see certain sections and you're kind of confused on how it was done, just mess around with it and you'll get the hang of it. It's not for all the kits, but I found like on maybe like, like 10 out of like the 100 kits or 20 of the kits, sometimes they use some questionable uh, Flexbox strategies that even I was like, wait, how did you do that? But the end result is you're gonna have a really nice looking website using our theme. So now that I've shown you all the kits and everything, now I'll talk about what makes this theme stand out versus other themes. So let's talk about the theme customizer. So this is the Solace theme customizer and we got a really cool blue and orange scheme going on right here. Now, to be quite frank, we don't have as many features as like Astra or Bloxy, but we are introducing elements that'll work around that. And I'll talk more about that in the next section. But for the basic general options, you know, we have things like colors where you can adjust the colors on your websites. The same thing with fonts. And we actually give you the option to customize all of the fonts up to the H6 tag, which is like a lot. I mean, if you need more than that, like you're doing something weird on your website. And then we have like buttons where you can also override the elementary settings and then go ahead and change the button colors, the fonts and all that stuff right there. Now, uh, let me show you some features that uh, might be a little bit more unique when it comes to WordPress themes. So here under the header builder, we actually have a bunch of preset styles for the header. So I know when you're using like the header for other themes, you have to like build everything from scratch. And sometimes you just want something quick, right? So we've actually created these presets where you'll just click on something and then we will just create all of the styles for you, right? And we've actually introduced up to seven different styles for the header. So you can just go ahead and pick like a preset style and then you'll see the menu adjust. And then of course, if you wanna drag in more elements under the elements tab, you'll just go ahead and click on these and drag and drop them. And just like other themes, we have up to three rows, right? So if you wanna take the contact, you wanna make another row, you can have up to three rows for your menu. And then also you can design the background, change the color and all that cool stuff. So the whole purpose of this theme was to make it more beginner friendly. I didn't want to overwhelm users with options because when I was using some other themes, it's like they're good, but they give you too many options sometimes and it overwhelms the user and it frustrates them. And I really wanted to stay away from that. And the same thing for the footer builder as well. So I'll click on footer builder. And then we also have a bunch of preset styles for the footer or if you were to click on one, you'll see that the entire footer changes. And you can also drag in elements here and then just drag in all these elements onto the actual footer. Pretty standard, right? I'm sure you've seen this, right? So we are introducing a header and footer builder. And then also we have features. We don't have too many features yet. We have a scroll to top where you can, you know, add a scroll to top if you want, where we can make this like black right here and increase the icon size. So on the bottom right of the screen, you'll see that little icon show up, right? When the user scrolls, pretty cool, right? So we have like the basic features that every theme needs to be like, you know, like a standard WordPress theme in the industry, right? Now also the Solace theme, it's ready for blogging and also WooCommerce. We don't have that many features for it, but we are introducing something that I'll talk about in the next section. So like for example, for your blog and archive, you'll have full control over the blog page. So you can fully customize the actual blog and also the post page as well. So if I were to click on one of these posts and let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, under the page settings, under single post, we do have a few different layouts. Now by standard, this is using like a custom uh, layout. So under the layout section, if you wanna adjust the layouts, we have four different layouts to choose from, but most of us are gonna be using the custom layouts. So for example, the custom layout right here, and this allows you to rearrange elements. It also allows you to adjust all the elements on the blog page. So if you don't want a featured image, you'll click on this little eye right here, and that'll take out the featured image. If you want to drag these elements around, you can do that where you'll have like the featured image below the categories, or you can put the title at the top, right? 
And then for every element, if you click on the toggle settings, we have more options for every single element, right? So for categories, we have separators. For the featured image, you can adjust the size of this, such as the image ratio, the scale, and also the size of the featured image. And uh, you can choose to turn off comments, author box, post navigation, and then also show related posts. But uh, overall, I would say the format of this theme is actually quite standard. It looks really clean and you have all the customization options you need if you're creating like a blog post. Also, if you plan to use this for WooCommerce, the theme is WooCommerce ready. However, me and my team, we are finding more bugs and fixes. So if you do come across it when you're using WooCommerce, just know that uh, I would say that's like the bulk of our bugs is actually in the WooCommerce. Um, but anyways, we do have other layouts, like for example, layout one, layout two and a few other layouts. We actually introduced some to introduce some really nice like uh, stylish effects like here, for example, if you hover over it, it just gives you a description and it adds a cart. So, uh, you know, it's just another way on how to introduce your products. Also, we do have a special one called special one. And the point of this one was to actually introduce images while users are shopping on your shop page. Now, for example, and you can actually add up to three featured images for your shop page. And what this does is it allows you to add banners while users are shopping on your shop page. So uh, for example, here, we'll go ahead and change this image. And then we have an image of those shirts. Now, obviously this is meant for like banners or something. Now here we have that same image, but uh, if I click on select image, you can add up to three images on this page. So you can add like multiple banners and like sections to, you know, encourage engagement, like free shipping or free, you know, no tax or, or whatever, right? And then voila, we have like an image of these shirts and obviously you can, you know, add some sort of sales banner or whatever. We are going to add in the exact featured image size you should add in order to make sure that these are like, um, you know, so that it's perfect. So we will include that in the documentation a little bit later. Now, one of the more advanced features that we're working on is a site builder. So this theme is actually gonna have its own site builder. And as of right now, the header and footer site builder is fully activated and ready to go. So for example, you'll be able to select specific parts of your website, and then you can actually build it with the page builder. So here is the Solace site builder. Now, this is where we're trying to find a workaround around all the features. I wanted to give users the options to just design all these pages with the actual page builder versus actually, you know, making it so we have to customize every single part, right? Now, on top of that, we're also creating elements for all these pages. And what we're gonna do in the future is we're going to replace all of the shop pages and the shop category pages with Solace's own elements. So you don't have to rely on the Gutenberg updates and all that Gutenberg nonsense. But to give you an example, I'll click on the header here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll set a condition. So I'll just put entire websites and then click on save and add templates. And then Solace is gonna activate the Elementor page builder. And then from here, you can go ahead and design it, right? So I went ahead and I just made this little menu, you know, just whatever, right? And then I'll click on publish. Now, once I publish this, I'm now going to override the Solace theme settings. And now this is going to be my new uh, menu, right? Also, we do have elements for the menu. So we do have the site logo and also a navigational menu where we have a few options where you can adjust the layout for your actual menu. And once we apply this as our new uh, header, if I go to view page, and then you'll see that new header is now your default header for your entire website, right? So it works the same way like Elementor where you're just going to use that and assign it you know, throughout your entire websites. And you can always go ahead here and readjust it to your liking. So that is the project I've been working on for the last year and a half. I'm still working out some bugs and fixes. We are like on the road there, we're almost there. Probably within like three months, I would say this thing will be in a very solid state, but uh, it's usable on any basic WordPress websites. Um, blogging websites, WooCommerce, we are still finding bugs and glitches. So I would say that's the area where we need work in. But over the next three months, we're gonna sort out all those bugs and introduce our own elements. Also, if you do wanna check out our WordPress theme, it's available on the wordpress.org repo. Um, in my videos, actually, we now use Solace for all of my tutorials. I just find it a lot easier now to just make a tutorial, show them how to import a template, use the Flexbox, because that's like, I would say the Flexbox is probably the only thing with the learning curve in these videos, but after users are shown how to use it with the actual templates, 
I think they get the hang of it quite quickly. So uh, yeah, feel free to download Solace. I'll leave a link to Solace in the video description. You have any suggestions for me or if there's anything you wanna let me know, let me know in the comments below and also report it on the website or on the WordPress repo. I'm always like lurking over there to see like if users are like leaving me nasty comments or something, right? So again, I hope you all enjoyed this WordPress theme. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you all later.